Hey everyone, I'm AsdQ and welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team where I am a Mudkip. Last time, we began exploring the Sky Tower in an attempt to meet with Rayquaza to prevent the world from being destroyed by a meteor. This time, we will continue to do that. We want to continue up this tower and meet with Rayquaza. So on to Sky Tower Summit. And immediately we're throwing rocks. I mean, that won't do much. Oh, wow. Okay, enemies are terrifying here. Come on, Absol. Wake up. So, I think we definitely want to try and get through the dungeon as quickly as possible. Because, I mean, look at what we're fighting. That's a Metagross. Tackle facade. Okay, did not want to miss that. Thank you for the screech, though. Ow. Tackle facade. I mean, I was resistant to that Metal Claw, and I still took almost half my health. So we'll just sneak around. Try and avoid enemies, if possible. Uh, it's looking significantly less possible now. So, water gun. Meg, or absorb. You still don't have Mega Drain. Okay. Oh, and my speed went down. That's really bad. Hopefully, that Metagross doesn't have Psybeam or any other ranged move. Okay. You guys have to fight it. I've taken too much damage. And I'm slow. Alright, I'll throw a rock. I missed. Good job, Trico. And I leveled up, nice. Oh, only two hit points. Alright, well every little bit helps. But we're gonna have to be really careful. Because and Okay, that was... <laughs> I was like, any stray hit could kill me, and then I got hit by a stray hit. Alright, Trico, you need to use Absorb, so don't use Screech Pound. And I'll throw a rock. That should give you enough health to take another hit. Man, the enemies suddenly have so much health. Alright, well, you can use your other moves again. And... We've got one of these dungeon layouts. Ones with a lot of crosses. Uh... Yeah, this is a bad spot to have to fight you. So, we'll just warp you away. Okay, he's behind us. Let's go with eating an orange berry. Throw a rock. And then tackle facade. Okay, that didn't deal too much damage. Trico leveled up. Two, 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 two. That was a good level up. Come on. Get him, guys. Oh, nice. I keep missing. Alright, normally I'd retrieve that rock, but I want to get out of this, like, off of this floor as soon as possible. Don't care about the money. One disadvantage to having four Pokemon with you is that you become a huge target for enemies. Alright, maybe down here... Man, this is why I don't like this kind of layout. Because you spend a lot of time in corridors, and that's super dangerous. But here are the stairs. 
Let's get out of there. Alright. I hope this section isn't too long because this kind of dungeon generation sucks and the enemies here are terrifyingly strong. There's no efficient way to explore this kind of layout. You just have to hope you go to the right spot. Alright, fourth floor. Um, I'm gonna run to the stairs while you try and fend off that salamence. Alright. Fifth floor. We've got even more corridors. Ah, uh, bad time to miss. Every time's a bad time to miss now, because there's so many enemies that you do not want to have to fight longer than you have to fight them. And look at that, Rapid Spin did 30 damage. That's ridiculous. Because Rapid Spin is not a strong move. Alright, anything this way? The stairs are this way, perfect. On the 6th floor, it's raining, that's good, but, uh, let's see, let's just throw rocks, alright, okay, we can miss, oh, he threw a rock back at me, but he missed too, so, okay, we broke his AI, that's perfect, he tried to side beam through a wall. Get him. Water gun. Okay. Oh, I saw a Pokemon up here. Well, it wasn't that Flygon, I don't think, but... We don't want to fight it if we don't have to. So let's just take it out from a safe distance. Uh, there's one that's actually coming toward us. And that is a Salamence. It is also going away. But I want to go to that room that they're heading towards, so I'm gonna just keep throwing rocks. How many do we have left? 26. So hopefully we're near the end, because we're almost out of rocks. But that should be most of the enemies that are on the floor right now, so more will be spawning, obviously, but I don't think we have to worry about them for a while. Alright, up here. We found the stairs. Okay. Floor 7. We've got a Flygon here. Water gun. 72. Nice. Ow. Alright, I'm gonna let Trico keep using Screech across corners, because I can make use of the defense drop at least. Alright. The advantage with uh, dead end rooms, rooms though is that you know where the enemies are gonna come from, so I guess if there's an item you want to pick up, you're pretty safe to pick it up. Uh, we've got another Tropius to deal with. Let's just have you use Flamethrower on it. It's nice having a fire move. It gives us really good coverage. Alright, Sweet Scent isn't a big deal. Like, we, we don't really rely on evasion, but since there's a Wonder Tile here, we might as well heal it. Alright, so everyone's back to normal. Can turn on Absol's moves again. Okay, that's Atropius. Hopefully it'll go the other way. That's a Claydol, though. Alright, I think I can just water gun it now. Or not. But we've got quick attack, so we're good. Let's go over here, dead end. Of course. This way. Dead end. 
This way has a flag on apparently. Another dead end. Some money. So basically a dead end. Over here. We've got an enemy. Thank you, Trico. Ow. Alright. Get him. And now we're really low on health. Uh, okay, Trico, do not attack this guy. I mean, that kind of went for... Well, I thought I turned, but I didn't. <laughs> Alright. That works. Bit of free experience, I guess. Since we didn't get hit. Yeah, shove it, you need to fight it. I'll keep throwing rocks. Alright, that's fine. Whirlwind doesn't deal much damage. Right, over this way. Nothing. Let's check this corner real quick. Okay, good thing we did. The stairs were here. Oh, and we're at the end. Nice. <sighs> that voice. Could it be Rayquaza? It might be. Indeed I am! The sky is my domain! Depart at once! But we don't have time to argue. We came here because we need your help. Never! <laughs> Gaia! I am the being of the sky, and you are but denizens of the ground. To each, there is a world destined as their own. For hundreds of millions of years, never once have I descended to the ground. And the opposite shall also hold true. Let there be no mercy for those who defy the laws of nature. Prepare for the end. Uh, okay. Rayquaza, calm down. Alright. So, I think we know the strat here. Just spam the stat changing moves. And I guess... You really can't do anything. Um, I guess we could set your AI to go after foes, and then you can like maybe wander around us, but I think we're better off just letting you stay behind me. Uh, what's everyone's health at? I'm the only one who's damaged, so I guess I'll lead off with eating an Orenberry. Alright. That's actually a good swords dance. And we'll start using Mud Slap. I'm surprised that actually damaged it at all. Oh my god. Okay, so... Apparently... Uh, Absol isn't smart enough to turn to attack his target, so we'll have him use Quick Attack so that he turns to attack. And then we will use Mud Slap. I missed. And he missed. Why is everyone missing? Uh, for some reason, Trico didn't attack there. Not sure why. Alright, so we'll keep using Swords Dance Scratch there. And Screech Pound. And... Wow, I just screwed up all the buttons. But, okay. Alright, get him, Absol! Nice damage! Oh wow, he hits hard. I'm gonna keep using Mud Slap. And I think now I'll start using Tackle Facade. Because we might be able to just outpace his damage. Um, let's see. Trico, you've done plenty of screeching, so... You can... Run away now. Tactics... Get away. And I'll use Tackle Facade. Okay, I missed with the facade part. But it doesn't matter, we won! Wow, I expected that to be way harder. I can definitely see why they removed Link moves from the later games. It is ridiculously overpowered. 
Jaya! What? An earthquake, but we're in clouds. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. These are shockwaves! And they're huge! <laughs> That's it, I got it! Look straight up, Rayquaza! Oh, well would you look at that? It's the end of the world. What is that? It's a shooting star, and it's enormous! It will destroy the world if it continues on its path. That's why we came, Rayquaza. Please destroy the falling star! <laughs> so that is why. Yes, please hurry and destroy it! Dots. Before I try, I need to know your resolve. The star has come too close. If I were to loose my hyperbeam here, you would not escape unscathed. So, we accepted that from the start. It's the end of the world if we fail. Well said. Take charge of your destiny. You know, that meteor was falling for quite a while, considering how close it was to us when we started. Wait, where are we? <coughs> is this a dream? No, this is no dream. Yes, the star's explosion swallowed me, and I'm now adrift as a spirit. Wonder what's gonna happen. <laughs> the shadow. Gengar. Keke, Brandon. <laughs> Didn't take much to put you down. Serves you right. Keke, now, what to do with you? I know. I'll drag you into the dark world. That'll do it. <laughs> Gengar is dragging me. Gengar said he would drag me into the dark world. What is the dark world? Am I going to be abandoned in a world I don't know? And that's how the game started, isn't it? That's... 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 Huh? Darn it, I took the wrong path. What? This isn't like me. I can't decide which way is which. Keh, <laughs> to heck with this. I'll just ditch you here. That's it. Goodbye to you. Hey. Hey, can you hear? Snap out of it. Huh? This place. <laughs> Regained consciousness. Ooh! <laughs> okay, this is just... These voices are just getting ridiculous. I'm back there. Gengar saved me. Did Gengar save Brandon too? Yes, he did. Well, at least Caterpie's still happy. <laughs> what about the star? Didn't it get destroyed? Fear not, the star is no more. Though it will not be right away. The disaster should soon be calmed. Thanks, Zatu. <laughs> Absol and Shuppet. Nobody else knows who Shuppet is. <laughs> hmm. Well, that's good. We've won peace. And some dancing Kecleons, apparently. I'll be honest, everything looks the same as when we started. <laughs> this calls for a celebration! <laughs> yeah, sh shoot a hydro pump right at Lombre to celebrate. That, that sounds like an unusual celebration. Oh, hi Gardevoir. I did it, I saved the world. Peace has returned to our world. Thank you for everything. And now, your role here has ended. Soon you must return to your own world. 
it is time to bid farewell. It's finally come. The time has finally arrived. Brandon, I am so sorry for this. To everyone, please bid farewell. Sorry, Caterpie, I gotta go now. I've gotta slowly glow away. Everyone, thank you for all this time. What do you mean I have to leave? I have to leave! I'm a human! Unbelievable! Go back to the human world? Why? I, I have to leave because I'm human. That's just how it works. What will you do when I'm gone? Probably still be an exploration, or a rescue team. Bye, Caterpie. You should really join Trico's team. Just don't forget that. Sorry, Trico. <laughs> Why? I don't understand. Why was it necessary to leave us? Brandon saved my life, but I haven't done anything to show thanks. He left before I could even say thanks. <laughs> Just up and went like that. Why now? Why when the world's been saved? When else? When else would I have to leave? This was coming. Our world, it was saved by Brandon. I look back now. When bound for the sky, Brandon seemed as if resigned. Resigned to accept what was to come. Dots. Very sad dots. I think I know. Brandon must have... Brandon must have become a Pokemon to save us. And when the star was destroyed, Brandon knew that would be the time to leave. Why didn't he tell me earlier? If this was coming, why didn't he tell me? <laughs> Those words couldn't be spoken. As much as you are heartbroken now, Brandon must have felt the same pain of leaving. Try to understand, Trico. <laughs> oh good, I'm a star now. I'm really pretty. What is this? I'm rising into the sky. Is this my spirit? I wonder where I'm going. Probably to the human world. Voices. I hear voices. Your friend is heartbroken. A true friend, a friend for life. You finally realize it now. If you wish, and wish very strongly, perhaps you will meet again. Alright, well, that was Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team. I can definitely see why so many people love this game so much. Like, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit clunky in places, but, like, like the writing, for example, tends to be a little bit off by today's standards. But I'd say that the Fugitive Saga alone makes up for most of the game's shortcomings. Like, it, it was a lot of fun to play this game. Um, not sh really sure what else to say as the credits roll, just, I guess I'm not a Mudkip anymore. I can start a new Let's Play, probably, I'll probably Let's Play the next game right away. Though there is a post game for this, and I'm not sure if I'll be playing it or not, because I don't know much about it. 
so... I'll probably play it. We'll play the post-game. I don't know if I'll do it immediately, though. I really do want to start Let's Playing the next game, like, as soon as I can. Um... Yeah, there's not much else to say. Just finally completed my first Let's Play. It only took, like, four years. Um, yeah, there's, there's not much going on in the credits, just a lot of stars, some, uh, well-earned credits for the people that made this game. Because even today, this is one of the most popular games, like, uh, of the four mystery Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games, this is probably the second most popular ever. So... It's definitely earned its place as a as a part of the franchise. And I definitely see why people love it. Like the characters are just so likable and so much more memorable than in a lot of the rest of the series. But it looks like we're back. Back to floating off into the sky. I don't want to leave. I want to stay longer. With my invaluable... Irreplaceable friend. <laughs> 